Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Firma Punk on Land Strider's Terra Firma Punk server. We need a better phrase for that. Last time, well, was the first time. Thank you for coming back. That's amazing. It means that this series will probably go somewhere. You can see down on my bar hanger, this, this one right here, we are having troubles with food. So that means, of course, we are going to have to run away and try and find food. Last we were, uh, last place, we were, where's all those things gone? Where's that stuff gone? I really needed that. I really, really did need that. Is this about to uh, pop it all away from me again? Uh, okay, I finally picked it up. Okay, last th last time we were busy playing around in these pit furnaces, trying our best to get all this pottery stuff together so that we could get inside our quest book here. Yes, we have a, a quest with on one unclaimed reward. No, oh, it's not that one though. It was this one. I've got four ceramic... Oh, I don't have four ceramic jokes. you know why I don't have four ceramic jokes? Because one broke on me whilst I was drinking, which means we're going to have to leave one burning whilst I go looking for food. That's totally okay, but a little bit annoying. Um, that's that's not where I wanted to put this. That is not where I wanted to put this at all. Ah. Okay, so with that being a thing, I'm going to need to go get a whole load of thatch. We need some food. Uh, well, yes, we need some food, but we also need some logs and things like that. Maybe if I just kind of strike off in this direction, maybe at some point today we will find something that we can munch on. I'm not feeling overly hopeful, um, mainly because, well, with the, the hunger giving me all sorts of ill effects, we're not really going to have much chance to cover a lot of ground. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep walking this way, and if I find it... Oh, look, there is something uh, interesting over there. I'm just going to avoid that. If I find anything else interesting, I will bring you back, but obviously I just I need to go find some food. Oh, there's a, a zombie. We don't, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Okay, I've gone about three place, uh, paces. I've noticed more clay. More clay is great, but it's not quite what we're looking for. Hey, look. Oh, no. See, my particles look good up here, but down there they look bad. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely sort that out. No word yet as to how to fix that. Um, but I'm not surprised because, you know, mods and conflicts and all the other bad stuff. I see a mushroom. Is a single mushroom enough to eat? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. This... Everything is different. We're gonna go up and have a look at it and see what's going on. Maybe, maybe we can do some stuff with it. Uh, failing that, we'll have to go back and put the pottery on and um, get things working there. Did I actually pick it up? I did. Doesn't actually say I can eat it, unfortunately. That is a great shame. Okay, I'm gonna move on, find some more food. And of course, because things can never be easy, it's night time. I'm now walking back. We've not found any more food other than that mushroom. Uh, we've not taken too much hits on my uh, maximum health there. That is the thing that is dropping down whilst I have no food. It's... Oh, a red cap over there. We're going to try and avoid everything that we can. Uh, everything does seem to he be heading towards me, but we should be able to avoid most things as long as all things are equal. Yeah, it's a, strong, it's a strong play. It's a strong play. I don't see anything following me. I mean, we could chill out here and, and get some health back from this, but I really don't think this is actually going to help us. Nice to swim through, though, and get a small boost of health. Ah, there's another one right over there. Okay, I'm going to have to swing up and around this way. Uh, he does appear to be right on my tail. Maybe if we cross like such things as this, uh, he will get a little bit confused. Unfortunately, I don't really want to run... Oh, I'm talking about wanting to run... Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Troubles everywhere. Uh, well, that went well. That went well. Uh, so, I think I need to make my way back to that um, hobbit hole as fast as possible. We can just about see it. Night time is here, and that is always the worst. Uh, but we should be able to make it through beautifully. That, that was horrible, actually. It just kind of sprung on me out of nowhere. I don't know if I can go that way or not. I'm not sure what is the safe way. We seem to be having a uh, little trouble on the internet at the moment. So maybe, I mean, we saw how much those mobs were jumping around. So maybe I'm going to take a small break here and figure out exactly what we can do to make this better. I made a mistake. I made a big, big mistake. And wooey, despite the many lags, I think we've made it home. Yeah, I, I've got a feeling there's a little bit of internet problem on the go at the moment, but... I can't even finish my quest. I will see you guys in the morning, I suppose. Ah, well, this second episode's going really well. So on the plus side, I've got some hunger back. The many, many negatives of this is that I don't have any way of defending myself when we go out there. I mean, look at all those spiders. Obviously, just trying to get... Oh, there's a creeper right there. That wouldn't be great to run into. Um, 
yeah, we need to get around that way and try and make, well, try and make good progress towards our stuff again. I think it might actually be time to think about moving. Oh, he's right behind us, isn't he? Run, man, run. He doesn't seem to want to run. That's a little bit of a shame. I'm kind of hoping that things will despawn by the time we get out there. Though I did hope that for the Minotaur inside the house last episode, and that didn't happen. We must be having a little bit of a stutter here. I've been trying to collect this one for a little while now. Okay. Really not great if that's the way it's going to be whilst trying to get my bag. Um, but yeah, we, we're in a better position than we were when we went out there. That That's one of the main things to take away from this. Um, as long as we can just keep all the bad guys off our back, we should actually be able to just get running on. Right, there's my, there's my gravestone. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. It could have been so much worse. So, so much worse. The... Uh, the server seems to be keeping up. Brilliant. So we need to go and cook that uh, pottery stuff up, and then we need to leave. I might even take it with me and start walking, finding to find some uh, more food. In fact, whilst we're out here, let's let's go. It's it's morning. It's time to go out and wander around, and see what's going on. We're going to avoid everything up on the mini map if we can. I might even move it over here so I can be a bit more focused about no that's horrible i hate that i hate that okay so we went and explored that way last time before nighttime fell upon us and we had to run back this way so i'm gonna go have a look over this way and see if there's anything to eat over here um i stole a load of stones out of uh, whoever's chest that was in the house it wasn't the, the labeled one i'm hoping it was just kind of the junk chest because uh, that would have been great if not i mean i can drop those stones back right now do squirrels give us food I doubt it. I really doubt it. Yeah, come here. Where's he gone? Just got to try and get him for the last bit. Oh, no. That's some bad hunting tactics there. But I didn't see it drop anything either. So that that's kind of good. Uh, okay, yeah. As I say, I will bring you back if I find anything decent to eat. What's this? Pile of logs somewhere? Someone must have been here at some point. Which doesn't bode well for food, actually. Doesn't bode well for food. So we're going to have a save and some lag. That's good. That'll mean I can like travel some distance without things spotting me. Yay, copper! I'll always need to try and grab hold of some of this. That is one of our next things we need to do. Oh, there's a whole load of copper here. I might just spend five seconds running around and trying to pick some of this stuff up. Oh, look, and another mushroom. Do I still have that red one on me? I do. These oak saplings. Um... Not particularly useful. Oh, look, so many more stuff. Uh, so many more copper. Uh, let's let's grab these copper, grab that mushroom, uh, and, and feel happy about how we're doing with the world. I might actually... <gasps> oh, my prayers have been answered. And Landstride is here. Uh, yeah, so finally, we get some, some pig. Some pig is what we're after. Um, we should hopefully be able to get some pig for, for cooking. Ah, the control. I really got to rebind that Optifine key. I would have thought I would have done it by now, but no, I'm being useless. Woo, food. All right, I'm going to make my way back now that I have some food. Where'd that other pig go? I'm going to kill that other pig, make my way back, and uh, try and cook up something edible for myself because, wow, being in a better position would be great right now. Oh, don't you just love it when you back them into the corner and fist them to death? Amazing. I feel a lot more calm and in control now. I reckon that everything that happened beforehand, we could just kind of put that behind us and, and get back on with the real game. Making our way out, go find Landstrider, especially now that he's online as well. I'll probably hook up with him in the chat at some point. That'd be nice. It'll be uh, so, something to, to look forward to. Man, this this little bit of lag that we're getting from the Copper Nuggets, though, well, just, just in general, it's not doing great. But the lag seems to um, correspond to how bad the weather is around here, which means, obviously, a satellite is involved somewhere. Uh, and as the weather gets a little bit clearer, things should go well. Oh, no. Back off. Stay away. I will mess you up, boy. I will mess you up. Let's just keep moving this way. Maybe we can just keep away from him. Is he getting closer with each little skit or is he not? I don't know. I don't know. We need to find somewhere safe to do this properly. Let's, uh, well, we can run it zoomed, but that's horrible. That is horrible. All right, let's dive in here because just about everything I need to get done is done. All right, what are we going to do whilst we're in here? Oh, of course I didn't get enough. What happened to, it's in here somewhere. Wait, there we go. Completely forgot that I'd put everything in there. 
Ah, oh, amazing number of copper nuggets as well. That's uh, something to be proud of there. What we're going to do first, of course, is to try and get all this uh, cooking away here because the quicker we get this uh, quest done, the easier things will be for us, I think. Though it looks like maybe we don't have enough logs. Always the curse. Well, mining fatigue and sundown has scupp scuppered the plans of going to get too many logs, but we'll just go and finish up the stuff inside and, of course, sort out this mining fatigue we will do so by cooking this pork chop now cooking is quite an intensive process in this game uh, at least so i have spotted so far oh no oh oh will you look at that hang about i'm gonna i'm gonna make comments here oh no <laughs> wow that, that's always fun to watch on when uh, someone dies on server. Oh, I have managed to full-on set myself on fire. That that serves me right for uh, commenting there. Okay, let's try and get these proteins growing. Uh, growing? Cooking. I know what I'm talking about. Of course, the the protein is being shrunken and, and twisted up in a funny manner now. Uh, that's, that's what the cooking process is all about. Breaking down those long chains and making it more digestible for our gut. It's really what kind of spurred our technological process on, really. Well, that's what a lot of people say. Uh, this looks like it's going to take a long time to cook. We're at warm at the moment. We need to get to, like, cooked uh, and the sooner that happens the better because man i am literally starving at the moment i am wasting away look you just watch that put that point go down wasting away with the trouble we're in okay that should hopefully do me enough food to fill me up completely look there was so much missing that i actually doing a little bit under a bar all right awesome right what do we do now now we put the rest of these logs into here i do believe that is all of them that we need yes it is okay we're going to start this up and then wait the traditional seven hours that it takes for this to cook up uh whilst we're doing that we can talk about these are uh copper nuggets now these can be cooked in a variety of manner but the only manner that is available to me right now is to actually put them in this ceramic vessel and pop them in one of these like this now i'm actually going to wait for a little bit because i need to get this pottery out of here so i can do the quest before i can go on and like use up all this stuff so i'm going to take a small cut here uh chin wag with La uh, land strider a little bit and i will see you guys in about seven hours but my, my minecraft hours well, it has in fact been closer to seven real world hours. I thought I would give the local weather, and when I say local, I mean obviously local to me, not local to uh, the Minecraft world. This isn't going to give it to me again. We're having logging lag, aren't we? Uh, but yeah, it's been a little while in the real world. I thought I'd give the weather a chance to chill out and, and do whatever it was it needed to do. Uh, and it seems to have uh, helped a little bit somewhat. So let's go in here and have a look. So we have... Oh, my God. I didn't realise we had this perfect pork chop. Pork chop. Uh, I'm not going to claim this reward yet. It's the same as I'm not going to claim this reward yet because I don't really have any need for what it's giving me here. This red bell pepper, though... I have a need for that. Oh, also a reward bag. Lovely. And we got more food. Oh, that's beautiful. So what we're going to do, actually, is come in here and make use... Did that just drop food behind? Ah, oh, did, I, did I waste some stuff because I didn't have room for it? I'm not sure if that is a thing or not. But what I'm going to do is start making salads. Now, I'm going to be making salads out of almost all this fruit here. Uh, something like that. Now, it takes... 10 ounces out of this first one, 442. You can see how it's all labelled at the top here. You, you hit create. No, you don't hit create. Hit create. There we go. And it makes you a small salad. It lists everything that is inside there. You can see pork, banana, strawberries, red bell, pepper. And it makes you a small thing to eat. Which is just amazing. Now, I have been given tips overnight. Uh, turns out, look, you see this here. Just, do you see this right here? This is pondweed. Now, I'm not sure how edible this is. I was actually told seaweed. I saw this in the water and thought it might be the one that we're after. Let me just see if we can actually do this. The fact that I'm running out of air isn't helpful. Did that give me stuff? No, <laughs> it opened up a hole into the world. Oh, wow. What did that do? Um, okay, well, that's a thing. Uh, and it didn't actually give me any pondweed. Okay, fine. Well, I was told seaweed, so let's try... Ah, oh, d... I still haven't done that. Hang about. I'm going to rebind my controls. 
Oh, right, brilliant. So I can now run with... Oh, no, if I press the right button, I can now run without zooming. My Z key is now my zoom button, and that should do stuff. And we can have a look at the funny way that I mount these blocks now. Uh, isn't that amazing? In fact, we should be able to do a little jump and dive. Oh, it's one of the best things about this mod pack. It really is. Okay, so this here might be what we're looking for. Let's get up here and have a small look. Uh, if we could just stand up, that would be great. And back into... Oh, hey my face uh, back into first person mode seaweed has been got uh, unfortunately we managed to completely wipe out the gravel underneath I don't know whether this is something we can continue getting oh look it's over there oh I did a little little hop thing you double double tap and it does that um, I still uh, I still don't like this particle mortar effect I'm gonna have to spend a few moments trying to sort that out at some point as well um, I've got a feeling it's to do with uh, actually the clear water settings or maybe actually the swamp color settings in Optifine it's it's all a bit weird really but now that food has actually been fixed and believe me I am overjoyed that food has been fixed I think it's time to melt down some copper uh, because we have quite quite a bit of copper uh, it might be a good idea to move on I do believe it's one of the next things to do in the quest book in fact uh, we need to get our saw on no it's not in the quest book but I do happen to know that we need to get our saw on so that we can uh, open up this you see how we've got this tiny little normal crafting grid and then there's this whole three by three area here now that basically replaces the workbench if I was to Get, make a workbench it will just open these slots up here okay so give us a few moments to like tidy up my inventory and get a few things ready and i will be back in a moment when well, went dark so we just spent all day being out and about collecting wood collecting like thatch and getting some more clay and stuff like that together it turns out you can dig clay by hand which is pretty useful now what did i want to make from this clay well let's have a look inside the quest book because there's a few things that i want to make in particular i'm after this blacksmithing one now it says i want to like turn this into a bowl now that that we're gonna do tomorrow but if we take this bowl and click it there you see we get a gold pan now this works almost exactly like you've seen like crazy hobos gold panning uh out and about like you, you walk up to let's, let's have a look let's, like we're, we're gonna be safe right we're gonna be safe you see there's this little stream of water here and someone has conveniently left a bit of gravel here for me so you scoop up some of the gravel this area seems to be overworked ah well anyway you scoop up a bit of the gravel and then you kind of wash it in the water and eventually you find some stuff in there who, who knows what stuff you can find uh anywhere from gems to copper nuggets you know this terrible stuff uh i also want to do some stuff here full of stuff today um the main one is of course let's light this up so i can see what it's doing making some torches now i want to make some torches mainly so i can relight these torches uh there are plenty around but they go out over time i can't right click to access look i'm trying um but they go out over time. So if you have one of these and then you just kind of right click, I believe, it then relights the torch and everything should be better again. Uh, and yes, everything is indeed better again. I'm going to grab myself a salad. Uh, so I have a few things that I want to do here, but I think the first thing I want to do is go out and do a little bit of gold panning. So once again, I went and got the quest book just a little bit wrong. I thought it said I wanted to go out and find a bit of jade. But no, if I go out and make the gold pan, I get the bit of jade. So no need to wait until the morning. Okay, the next thing I need to do is kind of make these clay molds here. So let's try and clear a little bit of inventory and think about how we're going to make them. Now, I think it's just like... Oh, I broke it. Uh, I did see what it was like. Ah, oh, okay. So when you finish the the... What is this? The napping, if you will. It immediately takes it the takes the clay off you and you can't go back. Like normally if you mess it up um, without hitting on the the mould shape or on whatever shape it is you're going for, you will actually get the clay back without expending it. But if you hit the the mould and then break it, oh you've gone beyond what you can do there. Okay, I don't want to be on sandwich, I want to be on salad. We'll create that and I am suffering from the lack of food, but that's all good. Okay, so hopefully it's registered that I made one of these clay molds. Okay, cool. So with that going on, what I'm actually going to do now is pop... Not this one. Where is it? This one that's already full of copper. I put so much copper in there. Or at least all the copper that I had. 
way. There it is. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, and I could probably do with putting one more thing in there, but I don't actually have anything else that I wish to melt, I don't believe. So what we're going to do is cover this all with straw and with the pine logs that we went out to get. Eight. Brilliant. And light it up. And then, you know, this one is also something else we're going to have to wait for. Okay, so this is actually the point where I'm going to cut till morning, unless I find something in the quest book right now that I'm looking for. Okay, so that's all the pottery done here. I feel I may have actually missed the trick by not putting a sword mould. Not a sword, what's the other thing? A saw mould in there. A uh, little bit unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Okay, so now one of these has got 180 liquid copper units in it. Now, I'm not sure if that's enough to take all of this out. It takes 100 units. Man, I just, I just need a couple more copper units in there. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do about that, actually. Perhaps somewhere out there we will be able to find somewhere to do one of those. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is pop it in here. I do wonder whether that 50 copper there would actually be pretty good at putting into this. It's just a couple, isn't it? I do have something else I need to make as well, I believe. But first, let us unbox this. Because that, that's... Oh, I've got to wait for it to cool down. Uh, Right-click to pour or combine. No, that didn't do anything. He just put it into my inventory, but that's pretty good. Let's uh, see what uses we have of it. Maybe it will tell us. Okay, so we can use it literally to alloy stuff up. We, we knew about this. Can be heated in the fire to an orange glow, but that's, that's not very good. We can take it out to be a copper ingot. That is literally all we are allowed to do with it. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that to cool down then. Ah, uh, you can't quench it in the water. That, that That's massively unfortunate. That should be something we're allowed to do. <laughs> Okay, so this is finally ready to take out of here. It's hot. Oh, man, it's hot. But that should be all right, right? No, we can put that back down there. That's not quite what I wanted to do. I wanted to put this on the floor if possible. No, it's not. Oh, we managed to get ourselves a quest. If I just go ahead and break that, it doesn't want to break it at all, does it? Maybe it's because we're using the copper ingot. Yeah, of course it is. We need to break things with our hands instead. Okay, so let's have a look in here. We managed to get this one. Is that not what I just did? Hey, what well, can work? I mean, it's dark red. There's there's something going on with waiting for this. No, I'm massively confused. You can see it down there in my inventory. And we've got a copper ingot, zero one. Manual detect is not doing anything. It just nothing seems to be doing anything. So maybe we need to wait for it to cool down. I mean, it's just at very hot at the moment. That might be the thing that we are waiting on. Okay, so one of the other things I wish to do is obviously make this saw blade. Now, that is something that we should have actually prepared for beforehand. Why have I only got one now? Because I put the other one in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so using some of this massive amounts of clay we've got here, there's a couple of things we want to do. Uh, one of the first is the large vessel. I think that's a... No, I'll put in the word large in. It's never going to be good enough, is it? Vessel. Okay, we want to make this large one here. This is going to take out a big space in the middle there to make this large vessel. Uh, so if we just rip out like that, Perfect, then this is ready to go in the bottom of the pottery. Some other things, oh, it only takes up the whole entire one on its own, doesn't it? That's going to be a little bit annoying because I kind of wanted to melt down a whole load of copper at the same time. Ah, well, that's the way these things work. Let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, and that's the large vessel away. What's the next thing we need to do after that? So that's that one down there. Uh, maybe we have a look at something like the drying mat. How do we make a drying mat? I do not know, but that should be nice and easy to find out. Uh, it's not double T, is it? Just the single T. Drying mat. We use our knife on a bit of thatch, and thatch is four straw. Now, thankfully, we can make the four straw. Um... Okay, I, I kept on calling that thatch. That's no good. And then that in there to that makes two drying mats. Okay, I have no idea what these are actually going to be used for. We need to make four. Of course we need to make four. Why would, like, one crafting of anything be good enough in this game? Just why? Okay, that should now be good enough. And what do we get? We get a reward bag, which I think I'm just going to stash inside one of these copper vessels. Maybe this one over here. They might be, like, super useful straight away. Then again, it might just give me a whole load of stuff that I need to lug around again. Okay, night has fallen. What else can we do in here? Let's just keep crunching on. Now, we've not got any string, so I don't think... Oh, wait a bit. Wait a minute. This one, this will give us string. Two bits of string will give us a uh, fishing rod, if I remember correctly. It should be... Oh, 
Pressing R, always interesting on your inventory. Uh, I just want to double check. Yeah, the terra firma one is just the same. Wall string, ute fiber or ute fiber. I don't know which one that is. Depends how European we're feeling at the time. Do you hear him? I heard him. That's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but nothing to really get too much in a tiz about. So if we good this one and go, hey, can you give me that string, please? God, thank you very much. Now, uh, I've just realized one of the big problems we've got here is our inability to craft like that. Okay, what we need to do is directly address that problem right now. Um, so we're going to melt down more copper. Uh, whoever's vessel this is, can we access it and add more copper? We can't. That is unfortunate. Fortunate. We can add this one though. Ah, oh, it's properly cooled down now. Let's see if that's actually good enough to do what we need to do. It is. Oh, would you look at that. Now we've got a whole load of stuff that we need to do here, like tools and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to start with the copper saw. Now, this is because it's actually one that we can go straight for a mold of. Uh, if we type this in, you can see there is this saw mold here. So I definitely want to put that one together. I was going to do it with that, but obviously it's not a thing that we can do, um, which is very unfortunate. Now, if I remember correctly, it's this shape with that one missing. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pop that in there. We're also going to try and fill up one of these ceramic vessels, this one, with a whole load more copper. Now, we'll put that copper ingot in there we can't put that copper ingot in there that is unfortunate now i don't know who next is but i have noticed that he has a whole load of copper nuggets in here and i do wonder whether that's something we can melt or not the other thing is all the way over there now is not the time to be showing you because it's the middle of the night there is ha ha hi How's it... he's going to be able to like charge down here isn't he but over there, as I was saying, Landstrider did a little demonstration on how to use the prospector's hammer. Uh, and actually, underneath the ground, there is an awful lot of copper there. I just don't have the appropriate pickaxe to do so. So if you give me the knight, oh man, we're, we're going to kill him and, and get some stuff off him anyway. But if you, give, you guys will grant me the knight, I'm going to find out how to make a pickaxe and we can maybe get some more copper than we originally intended. Oh, look, you can make a mould. Okay, we'll do that as well. And then we'll have to go out and try and find something. Now, wait, wait, which one was it? It was one up one. So like that across there and there. There we go. That's another mould that I would really like to make. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I believe there's some more tools that we need to make in here. So let's go in and have a look and just see what else we can do with it. Uh, a chisel and a scythe. Now, I'm not sure I want to actually do all of those right now. Uh, in fact, if I think the only thing I want to do is that. That's not my thatch that I was looking for. Um, and we need to fill that with copper, obviously. Okay, so I've not had a very good time uh, finding copper nuggets laying on the floor. I came back to some of the places that I'd found beforehand. Uh, I'd also broken down that ingot that I had into nuggets so I could fit it in the, the vessel here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. I also got one extra nugget off of um, a Minotaur that had come around to say hello. So what I'm going to do today, or right now in fact, is try and pick up some of this gravel. It would have been smarter to bring some gravel with me, but you know... I'm not an overly smart man after all. Uh, and we're going to try and dig away a little bit of a stream here. Now, this should be relatively... Yeah, it does exactly what we want. Now, there are two things we're allowed to use when it comes to gold panning. Neither of which are dirt. So I'm going to put the dirt back over here. Um, all right. So I think we've got everything we need. I'm going to pop the gravel up there. No, I'm not. It doesn't like to go up there, unfortunately. Do I have a shovel on me? I've got a copper shovel because we earned that off of a bad guy. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pop it... Oh, I don't know. Here? Is that is that stable? It is. And then we're going to grab a pan of it. Any second now. No, am I not allowed to grab a pan of it? Is this just my bowl still? I know what I'm doing. Gold pan. <laughs> And you can see that we've got a little pan full of gravel here. And if I just wash it on the floor, it's going to give me nothing. Oh, look. we got a, co a copper nugget. I may have already had that copper nugget, actually. But we're going to carry on. Oh, it must be used under floating water. Well, you know, that was kind of what I was doing anyway. Uh, and I'm just going to do this for a little while and hopefully get some more copper nuggets. Oh, man, I'm going to have to dig up a lot more gravel as well. I mean, look, there's, there's copper right here. So it, it's got to do something well, right? All right, we got another copper nugget, but I did break my bowl, so that is unfortunate. All right, let's uh, take a wander back and see what we can do. With that. 
Okay, one thing I want to try, and I, I am willing to waste this one bit of copper here. Yeah, see, I was wondering whether the hammer would be good enough to, like, just smash it up into little bits or something. But if you look down on the bottom right there on my Walia, you'll see that it's really not going up... Um, the progress is not going up fast enough to it, for it to be like the appropriate tool. Hey, what is one block of native copper for a little bit of science, eh? And here we go. Oh, what did I get? What did I get? I just got another native copper nugget. Uh, that that feels... Um, I don't know if that's the one we're supposed to be doing or not, to be honest. I, uh, there's 25 units there and all we did was get one out of it. Okay, that is not the way. We're going to have to see if we can melt stuff down and get our pickaxe. <laughs> ah, so I saw this on Landstrider's Twitter the other day. I think our meat crisis might be over with. I mean, like, look, just just look at the number of them. I don't think anyone's gonna begrudge me killing one of these uh, alpha males here. Oh man! Oh, he's off. Let's let's get him. Let's get him. I want a bit more mutton. Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. Job done. Okay, let's let's get back home. Nighttime approaches. Oh, by the way, I changed the colour of my water here by turning the swamp colours on. I, I can't remember whether I told you that or not. Um, it kind of gave the, the, the texture to the water back, but still has not sorted out the uh, transparency issue. Oh, no. Transparency issue on the bubbles there. Uh, I'm going to run thuswards. Oh, God. Guys, look, look at them all. They're just all, like, spawning on top of my hat. Oh, okay. We're going to go through. 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 It's good enough. Once we're in the water, it's better. They can't, they can't, they can't beat us here, right? They can't beat us here. If we just got to, just got to get to the front door. Oh man, will you look at all the mobs on my map? There's just so many. It's a good job I'm gonna hide out here overnight now. Wooey. Okay, these are still. Oh man, get out of my house. Well, it's not my house, but get out of here. We're just gonna back you into a corner and keep beating you up until everything is all good. Uh, there's five hits per thing. Uh, five. P per hit is not good enough. Okay, well that wasn't much good either. Gonna just burn through all these tools. Ooh wee. Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, not only are we gonna take these copper nuggets in here. Hang about. Let's let's do that there. Uh, we're gonna see what else can be done now. This I would really like to top back up. I'm not sure if that's something we can do. Right click to pour or combine. I I, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see what we can do there. Um. I, <sighs> Very clearly labelled as someone else's stuff, so I, I just I don't want to to touch it. I I really don't think anyone is still living here. Uh, I've had a word with uh, Landstrider, obviously, and he tells me people are living yonder over thuswards. Um, he didn't say anything about anyone living here still, but uh, it, it's really hard to, to just go ahead and do things like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in here like so. Uh, where where's all my thatch and things like that? All right, we'll just get this lit now, and then I think I'll make a... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to make a small jump unto the morning now, or at least seven hours from now. Eight hours? Oh, I thought it only started at seven. And we will see what we can do about shaping this copper and getting everything working the way we want. Of course, we've got two molds in there that are about to come out as well. Okay, this is now all being cooked down uh, lovely. We're just going to go literally straight into here. Open the ceramic vessel. It didn't melt it. Oh, of course it didn't because of these ones, right? Well, with that discovery, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to go out and find more native copper nuggets. But until that time, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to get all the tools. All the tools. And then, of course, there are big copper patches so we can make all the tools better and stuff like that. But until then, bye! Oh, that's not sickening at all.